Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the data center and I'm gonna be playing around with some chair mining again. I know that these videos are not for everyone. Someone has something against cryptocurrency. I do read the comments on my videos but well I have about a petabyte of storage and it doesn't matter what I put on that petabyte of storage. Someone will think that it's a waste of space. Actually this might be one of the things that I can use all that storage for that offends the less amount of people. So if you're offended, go right ahead and watch something else. Um, I want to join a pool today. I have been cheer mining on my own little farm, plotting, uh, tiny farm. <laughs> and I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm doing this mostly for the videos because, um, well, then we have something to use this large amount of storage for. So you haven't missed out on anything. We are well, the last cheer video, which was last Tuesday, we're kind of continuing where we left off. So, I have, um, let's go to the computer. So, here is the cheer farming, and we are farming on this server over here, the awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 5. And, um, yeah, I have, I have plotted 447 plots, and right now it's estimated that I'll win again within five months. I have already won two Chia coins and they have also already dropped in price. Uh, so now they're worth less than half than when I won them. So it's not, I'm not encouraging anyone I hope to, uh, to start on this, I'm just showing it. So, but this Chia thing is, they keep coming out with new versions. And this one is a 1.17, so it's fairly outdated by now. And the new version, you need the newer version to actually be able to join a pool and a pool is like um, right now I have 447 plots and if I win these are lottery tickets more or less um, if I win on one of those I win two tier coins so I can go together with a lot of other people that are is also mining or farming tier and then let's say we are 700 people in this pool and I have this amount and some of the other guys has other amounts and then when we together win two tier coins we divide that uh, after whoever has the amount of plots I, I'm, I'm guessing you don't win as much but you win more consistently and uh, that is a good thing because right now it's five months before I win anything. It would be nice if, if that came down. Shun 1.17, I think we saw that. So we're gonna shut it down and we're gonna install a new version. So let's just, I think we just shut that down. Are you sure you wanna stop? Yep. And it's gonna be shutting down the node. It's gonna take a little bit there. And I can go to my, uh, to my NAS where I have downloaded the newest version. There we are, I have copied that installation over to the temporary directory on the server. It's a best practice to not download anything to your production server. I know this is home lab and we're playing around, but well, in a production environment, uh, the servers should not even be connected to the internet. Go to a workstation, download the stuff, copy it over and install it on the server. Uh, that way you um, you don't have servers that has visited uh, weird websites and and could have been infected with all kind of stuff that way so that's what we're gonna be doing I am just gonna install this on top of the other one I think that is how you do it otherwise we will become that much smarter there and I connect to my thinky here and we see a new button over here called pool so that is now available and I'll go get I have already decided which pool I'm gonna join so um, I'm gonna go and uh, and um, and type that out okay while I was typing in oh you can you can see it I made it so that I can show it um, I'm not uh, advertising for this at all but I am um, just showing you what I've decided to join. This is a, I think it's a Danish cheer farm. I am not entirely sure about that, but there was some Danish flags and some Swedish flags on their Discord server. So yeah, we're gonna try that. So um, I go down to under pool and then join a pool. 
and then I type in that thing. Oh, right now I'm on my self pool, but we're gonna join our, that pool instead, and we're gonna put that in. HTTPS. The number one tier farming pool. I think that's something they uh, kind of came up with themselves. I think there is six, seven hundred people on that pool thing. So let's try and create that. And I think that can take a little bit. You don't have to wait. We'll come right back. Okay, this uh, this takes longer than expecting. I can see that it's sinking up over here and. Well, in the last video, I believe we had to go up to 584,000 and I, it's probably more by now, so it's going to take a little bit. But I'll take this chance to talk about something totally unrelated. I purchased a new battery for my camera, the one we are filming on. Right now we are running on one of these, just like it. This came with the battery, but yeah, I purchased a bigger one. It, it's a, it's an off-brand one, but it's the capacity is twice of of, <laughs> of the this one. This has been doing great. I had uh, one of these from the old camera, which was almost like this one, just a generation older. But this one and the new one, they they fit together. And then I I went ahead because these are getting old. But I kind of use them every week, so they are getting um, they're getting used. So so they are not as strong as they used to be. So usually when I'm doing a video, I can do one video and then the second video I have to change out the battery. Or if I do a long video, some of these videos there is 15 minutes of footage, and I'm not able to do that on one battery. So I hope that that now I can manage this with a newer one. So yeah, totally unrelated. We are working on it over here. Okay, this took a while, but it has completed. It, it uh, synchronized up to 617,000 somethings. So uh, that, that took a bit. But now I am connected to um, to the web address on my, on my cardboard piece here. Kind of joined that pool. Uh, I have found that all my old plots will not be uh, will not be joining the pool so for well you you can still farm the old plots they are being farmed here i believe it says that it's farming yes but to join plots at the new um, pool here i have to um, create new ones you, you can do that up here add a plot nft so nft is probably the new ones um, but I promised that I would try this Mad Max thing, so we're gonna try and and, and do that. Uh, have started that. I haven't tested it yet, so you're gonna see that as well. We need some information from here to put into Mad Max, and one of the things is is uh, is up here under this question mark. If we put that there, there is this pool address um, how to generate a name from pool contact address that one you copy because you need it over in Mad Max Mad Max is just some some scripting thing so you need that and then you need to go down to your keys and go here and there is a um, what is that key called public farming key and you need that as well so you, you go in there so I'm just gonna go back because I have already configured it. So um, you search for Mad Max and you find uh, it on the internet. Probably Tier and Mad Max, and then you download. It's a it's a zip file, and you unzip it, and it contains of these files except that one. That one I've made. MPH, my playhouse. That that's the file that I have created that we're gonna be running. That is a Windows PowerShell script file. So, um, but let's see what's in it. Um, oh, sorry, this one is also not one that you get with it. I uh, I cheated and I watched YouTube videos myself to figure this out. And this one I, I borrowed from a YouTube video, uh, which explained what this was all about. So, first you call the exit file that are going to be doing the plotting. 
minus n one here is that you want to do one plot if you want to do more than one well i set mine to 10 just to test it well you set 10 and it will do 10 plots and then it will stop this does not do um, parallel plotting it does one and then it jumps to the next one. Oh, and if you set minus one it will just keep going so then there is the f for farmer public key and that was the one that i said that we needed to go get and c is the pool contract address which is the other address under the pools that we also got then over here the minus t is uh, is the first cash drive and then minus two is the second cash drive and this is something new i haven't seen it before at least and um, more or less you can use two ssds to do your plots so share the work on two ssds then there's minus d that is where the plot is going to be put when it's done so that's going to be uh, or minus m i haven't changed this one so um yeah then there's minus R, that's how many cores of your CPU that you're going to be using. This server has some really fast CPUs that are meant for databases works, but they don't have that many cores. So the two CPUs in here combined, they have 12 cores, uh, 24 threads. So what I have heard is that don't set it to the maximum, set it a little bit below. So I, have, I kind of set it to 10 just to, to check that out. So uh, yeah. So far it's, it's set to 10. Yeah, that's kind of the file explained and we could just go check mine. Edit that. Oh, it opened in PowerShell. I thought we could just see it in, in Notepad or something, but well, here is, it's, it becomes more complicated. I said I had, uh, 10 plots I've set it to. And then there is the, the, the pool address thing for me. And then there is the C, which is the f uh, private farming key. And then there is the minus T and that's S colon and the minus 2 is T colon and the D is M colon and then 10 cord and then there is uh, buckets and something here that I have been told not to mess with. Um, everybody else says that so I'm gonna repeat that. Don't mess with that. So let's, let's get out of here and let's try and run this just don't just run let's try it okay so I haven't tried this before so okay so it is doing something yeah I'm totally new to this so I guess we'll have to let this run and see what happens so they call it working directory and working directory 2 and the plot name thingy from my limited knowledge on this it looks fine <laughs> and on the hardware side of things we can see that at least a couple of SSD has gotten busy so um, yeah that's good okay it has been working for a while and you get all of this information and most of it is well to start with it's a lot of gibberish but it seems that it has completed its first plot um, so it, it came to uh, phase 4 and that took that long but then it says total plot creation time was 3976 seconds and that comes out to be 66 minutes and some and then it started copying the plot to uh, well to the m drive and still copying it seems like it had started the next plot and down here it uh, where is it copy to um, to M drive completed there so uh, yeah it started the next plot while it was copying which is probably a good use of resources and it copied the plot over to the big drives with almost a gigabytes a second so that is cool would really like to see the plot over here on the cheer thing uh, I was hoping that the number of plots would go up I don't know if we can press F5 or something. Can we do something up here? Could there be a refresh, redo, reload? Ha! There we are! Our first pull plot. Okay, that's cool. So, um, yeah, it's working out for us. 
Okay, it's the next day and this is a quite disappointing. I had this running all night and uh, the power shell script just stopped after doing the first plot. I don't know if it was me refreshing the, the chia thing here that, that stopped it, but well, it didn't do anything more. You can see there is still just one uh, number of plots. So even though it had all night to make more plots, it only made that first one and then it crashed or just stopped and it's not doing it. So I stopped it. So um, now I can restart it again, which was definitely not what I was planning on. I was hoping that this um, scripting thing was something that you started and it would just run. And the big problem is that it's really hard to see what it's doing. It's not as if you have a nice lovely progress bar that shows you how far in process you are. No. Yeah. Disappointed. So we are gonna start this again and see if we have more luck. Right click. Run. There. Let's see. At least now it uh, it's rolling its eyes over here. <laughs> it's doing something, so um, yeah. It has at least started again, so. So that was me messing around with my tier setup. As you can see, I'm not in a hurry with this. You have a chance to play with my hardware here. Um, my almost one petabyte of storage. Well, it's the best thing that I have come up with so far that I can put on this. Um, doesn't matter what I put on it, someone will think that it's a waste of space. <laughs> but that's just how that goes. So, um, yeah, if uh, today I need to ask you if you wouldn't want to follow me on my social media, especially Twitter would be very nice if you would uh, go to the description of the video and uh, and see the link to my Twitter and go there and follow me on Twitter. That would be marvelous. That's the platform where I do the most frequent updates. And there is of course still Patreon where I post an extra weekly video of what I've been up to this week and I really enjoy the support over there. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and see if we ever get any more cheer out of this pooling thing. So yeah. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.